I really lean towards the Cavs a lot. I'm a Milwaukee Bucks fan and I am a Chicago Bulls fan. My favorite team, as you can see, is the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers is the dynasty ever since, ever since the 80s. They've always been good. Magic, Kareem, Kobe. I know Shaq, the greats. I started playing when I was about four or five years old. The first thing I did, I learned how to dribble, like Iverson. And after that, I started cooking up. Started watching him play. Started watching Kobe play. I just started getting good, because it's all about practice. You gotta really be dedicated to the game. I grew up watching you know, Kobe and LeBron playing basketball. So, I mean, a lot of people look up to him. I mean, I, he's not my favorite player, but I mean, big, big ups to him because I do respect him for what he does. Well, I can say that Jordan, his influence was, you know, his, his legacy was the, the sneakers. Jordan's, Nike, the Adidas, whatever, I wear it all. You know, I'm not a hype beast though, I'll tell you that. I guess I'm a little hype beast. I'm a little hype beast. I can't lie. I'm wearing Supreme, I got the buns. And I'm a little bit, a little bit. But I buy what I like for the most part. A hype beast is somebody that just buys things based off of what's like, what's popping, what's trending. If I'm feeling them and if they hype, I buy them. I don't buy them because they're hyped. I buy them because I'm just, you know, that's, that's just the taste. That's just, that's my taste. Like these, these are hype, these are hype shoes. But in order for me to get them without paying retail, resell, I gotta wait online for them. People who waited in line all night long to get the new Air Jordan basketball shoes flooded into Lafayette Square Mall just after seven this morning. They literally broke a door off the hinges. Several people were trampled, while others crawled over them to get inside. Kid D1s, my uncle gifted these to me two, three years ago. He had two pairs. He was planning on selling the other pair, but he gave it to me for a birthday present. And um, who doesn't want, you know, basketball players first thing to shoot. It might, it might be worth something in the future. So some people like cars. I like sneakers, you know. <laughs> I'm a sneaker guy. Or you have athletes and stars that start their own fashion lines all the time. You see that. So there's a lot of things that it crosses borders now, where before sports was kind of a contained object. The more you can promote the individual and make them look unique, then the more they're going to have followers, they're going to have people that are interested in buying that jersey. So that becomes very important for identifying with that team, that athlete, and that sport. You either have somebody who's like, I hate your team, and then you start talking about that, or you have somebody who's, oh, you're a fan of them too, and then you start talking about that. So it opens up a communication because you're seen as a member of that community. So I think that it becomes you know, important to buy into that and support your team, but it's also about kind of establishing your identity as a member of that community. It becomes more important in recent years because fans have more of a voice through social media, through um, different outlets they have then the corporations have more of a responsibility to respond to those voices. They have more of a connection with the fans than they did before. And the players also have more of a direct c communication with the fans. On the game, Niggas man. got a hundred on here, son. <laughs> Niggas got a hundred on the game, boy. Stop playing, boy. This shit serious, boy. I've been playing 2K ever since 2K was invented. Before 2K, I was playing NBA Live, but 2K came and shut it down. I use the Lakers. I use the Lakers sometimes, though, because honestly, the Lakers right now we tanking. This, this is this is you know we we just we just lost Kobe. We in rebuild mode, you know what I'm saying? We got we got a we been we doing what the Knicks been doing for years, okay? <laughs> right now we chilling. Right now we gotta recuperate. NBA 2K, you know, it is one of, it is probably the only basketball game that we got right now. So I have no choice but to play it. But I used to like it sometimes. But like you know, you gotta really know your team to use a bad team in a game. <laughs> So like I think watching basketball is easy for me because I play and you know I like to take some moves that I see. I see some highlights. I see you know I see a little bit of Kyrie. I, I'm, I might get out and try one of his moves that I saw from last night. You know, I remember the 81 point game. January 22nd, 2006. Dropped 81 on Jalen Rose. Left the court like this with his hand up. Kobe
If you're not a fan of Kobe, then you're not a fan of greatness. I'm still gonna watch basketball, but there ain't gonna be another Kobe. We know that, there ain't gonna be another Jordan. There ain't gonna be another LeBron, but this, uh, listen, unfortunately, all the greats have to stop. Mamba out.